something which you know even as a sports person we are constantly looking to be successful mm -hmm. but in that process there are times where we fail and uh, that failure gets in so much of negativity within ourselves so we start doubting our capabilities like are we even worth it or are we good enough to go back and do well don't believe in yourself huh <laughs> Okay. First, uh, first thing is, of course you're a cricketer so you know the game, all right? I don't have to teach you that. Yes. You have to hit only one ball at a time, not ten. Yeah. You know, over there are six, you don't have to hit six at a time, yeah. you have to hit only one. But this all you need is, of course you need to know the game, mm -hmm. how to play, and you have to train yourself, which all you're doing, physically you must be fit. I, I see you got muscle, yes. all right? <laughs> uh, all that is there, the technique is there, but now the thing is only how quickly you see the ball. Do you see it three seconds ahead of somebody or do you see it three, three seconds later than somebody? Not even three seconds, probably a second. One second ahead, if you read the ball, then you hit the ball. If you read it one second later, it hits you <laughs> That's all… that's the kind of game you're in, all right? It's a hard ball, it's coming at you at a certain speed. The main thing is your attention. Attention to the bowler, attention to the field, attention to the ball. You see everything just the way it is. Well, everybody cannot hit the ball the same way, there are various physical aspects to it, how quick your reflexes are on all this. But if you see one second earlier the ball than most other people, then you will definitely hit the ball and finish the damn thing. <laughs> This may have to make sure that I can get my mind back on the box most of the time. All the? No, my mind keeps wandering most of the time. No, you must get… you must fall in love with the ball. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll be thinking of your… Uh, what did you say? Endorsement, your score, the cup and the fame and the name and what your family is thinking about you, all that nonsense. Yeah. No, you must fall in love with the ball so much, nothing comes into your mind. All you have is the ball and the bat. Sure. That's okay. all it takes. Total emotional involvement is what you're doing. And you won't miss a single ball, I'm telling you. Well, the opposite side is not uh, there to give you easy balls to hit. Sure. They want to make it as difficult as possible. So for that, the only thing is you observe the... Of course, these days you're studying their uh, what? the bowling patterns, how they bowl, their slow motions, everything, so you know what they can do. All that knowledge is fine, but still, at that moment, it's just attention. Attention to the bowler, once he releases the ball, he disappears, he must disappear. Yeah. It doesn't matter, he's, he's here, oh, I'm sorry, she, she is gesticulating at you, yeah. you don't see her, you see only the ball. Yeah. Or she'll abuse you, you don't hear that, you only hear the ball coming, yeah. that's all. Till they release the ball, you're interested in the bowler. Once they release the ball, your business is only the ball. Once you hit it, well, if it is outside the boundary, just stand there and enjoy. If it is not inside the boundary, then of course you pay attention to the fielders. So I'm saying the problem is, we are making a simple act into a complicated act. This may sound simplistic, but believe me, this is how life is happening. Right now I'm writing. I don't have to handle my right from here to Pumpuhar, to Tiruvarur, to Chennai right now. I only have to have the next roll of the wheel, that's all. If I handle this roll well, I will reach there. Mm -hmm. If I don't handle this well, well, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm playing a more dangerous game than you. Yeah, it's actually very dangerous. <laughs>